What is going on you guys? So uh, Christy and I, we have gotten a lot of requests from y'all about what tackle that we use or really like honestly what's our grocery list when we go inside of Ocean's East. Um, our hometown favorite tackle shop here in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Um, so today we're going to do a quick video. Uh, Christy's actually inside right now. She's getting the down low on the fishing report, which is coming out tonight. So I'm going to do a, and she's totally fine with photo bombing me right now. So I'm actually doing a quick video on um, what tackle that we buy inside of Ocean Z's. Hopefully help y'all out catch some more fish. Yeah, that's great. All right, all right, you guys. So we're gonna start with the first and most basic kind of inshore uh, tackle, and that is just a basic bottom rig, right here. Bottom rig, about one dollar, and all you do is you're just gonna tie this to your main line, and then you're going to go right here to. We're gonna use size six um, bait holder. All right, so you, you just use a size six hook. Just remember for these bottom rigs when you just want to get out to the beach and you just want to catch fish, um, make sure you go with a smaller hook. Um, if you want to catch flounder, then use a kale style hook. Um, you know, honestly, you can use really any style hook. Just use a smaller hook if you want to catch more fish. And this will catch you really like any fish. And the bait you're going to use with this is typically like a bloodworm or fish bites. We would recommend using bloodworms because bloodworms catch everything and anything. So uh, that's the first thing. All right, when you catch your bait fish and you still want to use live bait and then you want to catch like bigger fish, then we're going to move down. This is, this is the next uh, pieces of tackle that we buy. Um, and we're going to, and, uh, and the next thing that we're going to uh, buy is what we use for fishing, just a basic um, fish finder rig. And a fish finder rig, I'm going to show you guys some footage right now. All right, you guys, so um, this is a fish finder rig. This dilly dally will slide up and down your line. You've got a bead, you've got a two-way swivel, and then you've got your leader line that goes to your circle hook so of what a fish finder rig looks like um, but what you're going to need for a fish finder rig is uh, we'd recommend a circle hook and on the circle hook is what you're going to put kind of like your bigger like chunk bait on or maybe like if you catch like a smaller spot or a smaller croaker then you're going to use a circle hook um, the weight that you're going to use uh, for the uh, bottom rig you want to use about a two to three ounce pyramid sinker uh, for this, you're probably going to up that weight to anything between a 5 to an 8 ounce weight. Um, so that's kind of the next thing that Christy and I buy tons of here is circle hooks. Anything from a 5 aught to an 8 aught. Um, 5 aught's a little bit smaller, 8 aught is bigger. So that's for the fish finder rig. Um, and. <clears throat> Okay, so, and while we're here, kind of all over the place, um, these are popping corks, and if any of you guys watch any of our videos, we buy tons of these popping corks. So, uh, you've got anything from your bigger ones to kind of these smaller ones. Honestly, there's not too much of a difference. Uh, the smaller ones, uh, maybe if you're fishing like a shrimp, these ones if you're fishing like a swimming mullet, but you can still fish shrimp on these ones, so we buy tons of these. <clears throat> these are the Cajun Thunder. What's up, dog? Um, while we are in the hook aisle, I want to show you guys another hook that we use for live bait, like fiddler crabs, um, even like clams. So when you're fishing the bridge or you're fishing rocks, docks, pilings um, for like spade fish, sheep's head, um, and you're using some like kind of live bait, then we use the one aught um, kind of circle hook right here. Uh, make sure you go with the thicker gauge. Um, I prefer that when I'm inshore saltwater fishing. That way you can handle some of the larger fish. So that's the next thing that we buy a lot of. Got tons of these in our tackle box right here. Okay, moving on. We have um, tons of these uh, weights inside of our tackle box. Um, now, you can get um, pretty overwhelmed with all this selection of weights. So typically what we use is like three ounce for those uh, bottom rigs that I first showed you. Um, you know, that's what you're just gonna catch your bait fish on. Um, and then when we're chunking, you know, some of the bigger baits out and we're using a fish finder rig, then we're gonna use, um, then we buy the seven ounce or eight ounce of the pyramid sinker right here. So um, typically in our tackle box, we have three ounce, five ounce, 
and then a wide assortment of like seven, eight, and then even like 12 ounce when you're hucking big baits off of like a pier and the wind is blowing like crazy and you've got a big current. So pyramid sinkers, totally recommend, you know, getting a variety of these. So moving to artificials, um, we have, let's see, so top water. We fish tons of top water and um, probably our favorite top water is right here, the Skitter V. This is a Rapala Skitter V. I love this color right here too. Um, works great in the morning and the evening. Um, obviously that's when you're throwing top water and this is what we use. We catch tons of our fish with. Christy caught a nice striper with this in our last video last week. So this one right here, um, this is the SKV10 Skitter V Rapala. Um, the other one that we use is the this is the Rapala it just says this is the Rapala skitter walk um, and this is like a baby trout color um, when we caught those massive chopper bluefish this is what we're using right here so uh, for your artificials uh, if you guys have you know seen any of our other tutorials we really like to keep things very simple but this right here you definitely have to have one of these especially the baby trout color uh, it's kind of a more natural color as well this is an awesome bait. So this is the Rapala Skitter Walk. Okay, so while we're here and we're looking at the hard plastics, the other um, lure that we like to throw into our tackle box is the mirror lures. Um, you have the surface walker and then just the twitch baits. So um, these twitch baits right here, you can really pick from any color. Um, these are just insane when it's September October um, and you're catching those trout uh, these are what you're gonna want and these are the sinking uh, twitch baits the mirror lures um, the ones that have the red eye those ones are deadly and we have a few of those but honestly any of these are gonna get the job done uh, so that's the uh, mirror lure uh, sinking twitch bait these will catch you uh, trout and drum uh, very very effective bait and we keep at least two or three of those in our tackle box. That really kind of wraps it up for our like hard plastics of what Christy and I use. Um, but we use tons of soft plastics. So we're going to show you guys what we use for that. Right here we are in our jig head aisle. And um, so I have became, I, so I have become a big fan of these uh, trout eye jig heads. Um, when we first started, uh, we were using some of the gotcha jig heads and we still use those, but I really love these trout eyes. I like them because they have a little bit of a shorter shank. I'm showing you guys some footage of one right now. They got a little bit of a shorter shank and just that eye looks cool. It looks a little bit more natural. Um, looks a little bit more, uh, kind of interesting if I was a fish. Uh, so, um, we use, uh, the quarter ounce and then the three eight ounce. Uh, for the uh, jig heads. So the jig heads that we throw into our tackle box is the trout eyes and then we use and then uh, these actually these uh, boxer jig heads um, we use these for drum fishing and we're, when when uh, Christy and I are going down south to say like the Noose River and we're catching like bigger drum under popping corks, then we're gonna use these. They have a longer shank to them, a little bit wider gap, um, and just a little bit more of a heavier duty hook. So when you're catching bigger fish, especially those bigger drum, this is what we use for those. Still a great hook for catching flounder, but excellent for catching those drum. So we have tons of these in our tackle box. Typically for jig heads, we go with three different style of jig heads. We do the trout eyes, um, great for, you know, all three, puppy drum, flounder, and trout. Uh, these, when we're targeting more of the slot and over slot, red drum, you know, red fish. And then um, when we're just flounder fishing off the rocks and everything, um, that's when we're just gonna use the uh, Sea Striker Gotcha jig heads. Typically, I go with a 3 8 ounce jig head. I love this color right here, red. Uh, love this red color right here. Um, all right, y'all. So, um, so this is probably, this is Christina's favorite section, and this is the soft plastics. Um, <clears throat> so for soft plastics, uh, this can get a little dangerous because Christy gets a little mad at me because I spend a lot of money right here. Berkeley Gulps. They are more money, but they are worth it. 
Um, so the jerk shads, uh, nuclear chicken, new penny, um, are two of my favorite colors, but we always are going to have jerk shads. Um, and we're going to couple this up on one of the jig heads, whatever size, uh, quarter ounce or three eight ounce jig head. Uh, but that's what we're going to throw here is the jerk is the jerk shad. Uh, we can fish this underneath the popping cork. We can fish it on the bottom for flounder. Um, flounder actually love the jerk shad. Uh, the other one that we're going to use is the um, Berkeley Gulp swimming mullet, pearl white. Um, we this is probably the lure that we use the most. Um, again, it's going to catch you really all of your inshore species: drum, trout, striper, flounder, everything. So uh, the Berkeley Gulp swimming mullet, the white one, um, and then. Right now, they don't have uh, much of the shrimp in, but we do have tons of shrimp inside of our tackle box. So that's another lure that we use. Um, we typically just go with, uh, it's better to kind of buy like the bigger one, it's $20. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's totally worth it. And this right here will get you through the whole day is the Berkeley Gold. Now, pro tip, if you guys are catching, um, if I'm sorry, if you're if you're using these and you get a lot of like bluefish and a bunch of tail biters, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you guys what we also keep inside of our tackle box, and that's right over here, and that is Z-Man. Um, so for Z-Man, you want to use um, these uh, New Penny, and which ones are these? These are the Minnow Z. Uh, I have probably three bags inside of my tackle box for these. Really, all you need is one, and that's going to get you through the whole day. Best thing with the Z-Man, uh, pros and cons is, uh, the pro is one of these will probably last you the whole day. The con is, honestly, Berkeley Gulp is um, just that scent is amazing. Uh, what you can do with these, though, is you can just buy. They, they have a scent that you can put on, that uh, you can actually put on these, so I'd recommend doing that but one of these will get you through the whole day. And they are pretty much just as effective. Christy caught an awesome drum off of these down at the Noose River about two weeks ago. So these are great. Um, and, and then also uh, down at the Noose River, a lot of the locals, this is probably the go-to bait down there. And this is just a white jerk shad. And again, these will last you really all day bluefish they don't bite off the tail um, and uh, so these are the scented jerk shad pearl um, that's pretty much it y'all that really wraps it up for what Kirstie and I use um, you know here and that's kind of our grocery list uh, for these fish and that's kind of what Kirstie and I buy when we come in here to our local tackle shop at Ocean's East um, so you guys requested this video we made it um, you guys keep uh, giving us requests for any videos that y'all want to make or us to make and if y'all have any questions then please do drop us a line below uh, and we will continue to show you guys what we use uh, as we get out there and keep catching fish so with that you guys get up off your butt and catch some fish